God's rule and reign in and over life is supreme. See, the Bible doesn't teach that God causes some of the horrible things that we see in life. Evil, loss, lack, sin. These things are a byproduct of a good thing. That good thing is free will. But God has the ultimate authority, power, and ability. Rule and reign over creation. That's the theme that saturates this chapter, Isaiah 45, today. In verse 5, God says, I am the Lord, there is no other. Apart from me, there is no God. You see, in this chapter, we see God's authority and power over King Cyrus, who God ultimately uses as an instrument to accomplish his good purposes. And throughout this chapter, we see this theme that God is over and above everything and every event he uses according to his good plans and purposes. And here's what I would say. The sooner you and I yield our lives like clay in the hands of God, who forms and fashions us like clay in the hands of a potter, the better. In verse nine, he says, woe to those who quarrel with their maker, those who are nothing but potsherds. Among the potsherds on the ground, does the clay say to the potter, what are you making? Does your work say, the potter has no hands? How awkward and how ineffective it would be for clay to resist the hands of the potter. How much better it is for us to embrace the truth, the truth that God is good, that he can and does use everything for his good plans and purposes. And the best thing for us to do today is to surrender, surrender afresh to him.